Peep behind the scenes at Britain's biggest medical school attached to St. Mary's Hospital, Paddington. At this school, where runner Roger Bannister was just another student, and penicillin discoverer Sir Alexander Fleming just another professor, over 400 of the country's best doctors and scientists are graduated each year. Inside the modest-looking building, in the physiology lab, for example, lives another world, a world of facts and figures, textbooks and discoveries. The demonstration shows how, at the end of last century, the school's Professor Waller discovered that the electrical impulse of heartbeats could be recorded on a moving graph, forerunner of today's heart disease detecting electrocardiogram. The modern apparatus is more sensitive and more accurate, but the principle involved is still that of the man who, 60-odd years ago, brought fresh honours to the already famous school in Paddington. A specially made blood circulation system powered by a mechanical heart prepares researchers for investigation into the rate of flow and the volume of human bloodstreams. Radioactive compounds injected into the bloodstream can be traced through the arteries with Geiger counter apparatus. Of special interest to Roger Bannister has been the study of oxygen consumption during exercise. From experiments like these, in which the amount of oxygen taken from the air is recorded during a fixed period of calculated work, Roger has found that he absorbs more than a gallon of oxygen a minute while running. Most top athletes absorb only about seven pints a minute or less, so maybe the school's research has discovered yet another secret. The secret of the power behind Roger Bannister's first ever four-minute mile.